This is One UI 7, the best thing to happen to Samsung smartphones in years. Complete freedom to customize anything in the system, cutting edge AI features to your phone and so much more. The update will start rolling out soon to all major Galaxy smartphones, beginning with the Galaxy S21 series, including the F E line up and extending to select Galaxy A and M series devices. Today we're taking out the best features of the new OS on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. The first thing you'll notice in One UI 7 is the revamped system animations. App launch speeds, smooth transitions and overall fluidity – everything has been upgraded beyond recognition. Samsung has completely reworked its animations animation system, and this is exactly what their smartphones have been missing compared to the competition. The widget system in One UI 7 has also received a major overhaul. It now plays a big role in how your system looks, and the customization options are nearly endless. Adding a new widget to the home screen is now more customizable than ever. In the widget settings, you can change its shape or even make it completely transparent by removing the background. Some of these features were already available in previous One UI version, but now there is a lot more to explore. The clock widget is now fully resizable. Don't like the small preview? Stretch it across the entire screen. There is also a new interactive gallery widget, which not only changes its appearance, but also looks refreshingly unique. And check this out! You can now place app icon however you want on the home screen. Any angle, any size – it's all possible in One UI 7. You can even layer icons on top of each other and adjust the stacking order. Plus, there is a group resizing and reposition feature, making customization faster and more flexible than ever. All of this comes with a new option called DIY Home. To activate it, just head to the Samsung App Store, download the Good Luck utility and install the Home app. Next, head over to Home Screen Settings, tap More Customization and you'll enter the Home app menu. Here, enable all the features, go to the Home Screen section and turn on DIY Home Screen. In the same menu, you also find the Task Changer section, where you can completely customize the look of your recent apps view. I personally set it to Vertical List, but you can also switch to Grid View or even go for mini thumbnails without app previews if you prefer a cleaner look. The Now Bar widget, which works directly on the lock screen. Let's say you're playing music on Spotify, running a timer or recording audio with the voice recorder, all of these activities will now appear in the Now Bar widget on your lock screen, allowing you to quickly switch between them. You can swipe to navigate through active tasks or tap once to expand the widget for full control over the app. Pretty convenient. Of course, One UI 7 also introduced redesigned Quick Settings panel. If you don't like how swiping from the right opens quick settings while wiping from the center or left pull down notifications, you can now change this. Go to the settings, find the Together option and enable it. This merges the notification panel and quick settings into one unified view. Personally, I'm already used to having notification and quick settings separate, but if you prefer an all-in-one approach, this option is now available. If you go to the system settings and tap the search icon, you'll notice some interesting changes. The setting search is now smarter. Let's say you want to adjust something on your phone but have no idea what the settings is called. Just type a few keywords related to what you're looking for and the system will most likely find the right options for you. I tested it and it works surprisingly well. For example, whenever I set up a new Samsung phone, it defaults to navigation buttons instead of gestures. And I always forget where to change this. But now I can simply type gestures in the search bar and boom, the system suggests the navigation bar settings instantly. Super convenient. Another useful update in the display settings, you can now adjust the size of icons and widgets 
with three options – small, medium and large. Plus, there is a new app label options. This lets you hide app names under icons. Folders in One UI 7 has also been upgraded. If you long press a folder, you see a new enlarge option. Tap it and the folder expands into a much more visually appealing layout. Of course, you can always shrink it back to its original size if needed. The charging animation has been redesigned as well. On the lock screen, you'll now see a new charging widget that comes in two colors – green for regular charging and blue for super fast charging. Even the battery indicator has a fresh new look. One of my favorite new features is the integration of Gemini in Samsung Notes. If you're watching a YouTube video, for example, you can summon Gemini and ask it to generate a text summary of the video you're currently watching. Even better, you can extract any specific information from the video and save it as a text document. The next feature you must enable if you have a Galaxy S25 Ultra is QHD Plus resolution. Go to Display Settings and set your screen resolution to QHD Plus. This unlocks a new feature called ProScaler. ProScaler comes straight from Samsung Premium TVs and it enhances video quality by up to 40%. The difference in sharpness and clarity is instantly noticeable. Another super useful upgrade is in the screen timeout settings. You'll now find a new option that keeps the screen on while you're looking at it. This is a game changer for reading long documents, for example, since your screen won't dim or turn off even if you're not touching it. One of the coolest new features in One UI 7 is called Separate App Sound. To enable it, go to Settings, Sound and Vibration, Separate App Sound. Here is how it works. Let's say you're listening to Spotify in your car. Normally, if you play a voice message in a messenger or a video in the browser, the audio automatically switches to your car speakers interrupting your music. With separate app sound, you can now manually assign which apps use Bluetooth, audio and which one play sound only on your phone. For example, I set my messenger and browser to always play sound through my phone speakers, so my music never gets interrupted in the car. Super convenient. Now let's head to battery settings. In One UI 7, a new battery health section has been added under battery information. This shows the current degradation level of your battery, something Samsung users have been asking for. To extend your battery's lifespan, make sure to enable battery protection. I personally set mine to adaptive mode, which intelligently adjusts charging and discharging patterns to reduce battery wear over time. A cool new camera feature. The camera app now has a super interesting and useful tool the ability to use an existing photo as a filter for new shots. If you love the color style of a particular photo, but don't know how to recreate it, just open the filter menu, tap plus and select the photo you like. The phone will then analyze and replicate its color profile, applying the same tone, contrast and vibe to your future shots. It's basically AI-powered photo mimicry. One of the biggest camera upgrades in the Galaxy S25 Ultra is the ability to shoot in lock, 10-bit mode. But the real game-changer isn't just the lock recording itself, it's the fact that you can now color grade your footage directly in the gallery using AI, without needing a computer. Here is how it works. After recording a lock video, open it in the gallery, swipe up, and you'll see a new correct color button. If you compare the same video in a lock with AI color correction versus a standard video, the difference is huge. Shooting in lock gives you more detail, a higher dynamic range and better flexibility for editing. The only trade-off? The file size is 10 times larger than a regular video. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it with friends, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Bye.